I believe their children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all of the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. child is a scholar and a star. I am Miss Parche, the Reach for the Stars project director. And as you know, Reach for the Stars meets the requirements of our charter that call for an emphasis on career education in grades K through 12. We also, through this program, emphasize literacy and the arts. We are ending our Reach for the Stars program with children learning about careers in philanthropy. Philanthropy, your children learned, is giving your time, talent, and treasure to help other people. And we're going to have the teachers in K-5 through come talk about your awesome scholar philanthropist. All right, Ms. Bickley, you are first up. Okay, my kindergarten and first grade scholars learned about philanthropy, giving your time, talent, and treasure. We decided that our class philanthropy project would be working with the Capital Area Humane Society. For more than 125 years, the Capital Area Humane Society has been making a difference in the lives of animals and people in our community. As a local nonprofit organization, 98% of their funding comes from donations and fees for service. When you support the work of the Capital Area Humane Society, you're making a difference for homeless and abused animals in need. My name is Miss Bickley. I teach kindergarten and first grade. Our project was to do community service hours um, for the Capital Area Humane Society. We earned those hours by reading a book that they had on the book list. We also made catnip pillows and we made posters to raise awareness for overpopulation. All right, today we are making our catnip pillows for the Capital Area Humane Society. Raise your hand if you can tell me why we're making these pillows. Why do you think we're making these pillows for the cats? Zoe? Okay, to help them for our philanthropy. Do you think they're going to like these pillows? Yes. I think they will. We came up with a list of about 10 different things we could do, and it was unanimous that everyone wanted to help the cats and dogs and animals at the Humane Society. We're waiting about philanthropy, and um, we're helping our community. They'll feel like they, you know, accomplished a lot by making them these toys and, you know, donating their time to help them. I think they're going to love it. All right, back in the line. Thank you for having us. I appreciate it. I think this is the most organized orderly group I have ever had. Ever. Really? Okay, now we're going to look at some kittens, okay? Come on in here. Mm -hmm. I think they had a great time, um, you know, a kitten or a dog that maybe jumps and scares a kindergartner. Um, might make him a little nervous, but I think they're very excited to go and had a great time. We made um, partners, made catnip pillows, and we also made posters to raise awareness for great. the population and put them on classroom doors. That's great. Okay. We're glad yeah. that you guys are telling people about the Humane Society. Do you have more cats or more dogs? More cats. We get about 10,000 cats a year. Can you reach up there? Shh, watch out, careful. Oh, what do you think, Jess? Check that out. I like it a lot. Loves it. Oh, I think she likes it. Oh, look, 
volunteers get the rest of them because they'll probably know which kitties will like them the yeah. most. Each child gets a certificate for their participation in the Capital Area Humane Society Philanthropy, and this is just to show uh, their appreciation to the children. Villains, Nefosteri, come on. All right. Is that really a dog? One, two, three. Cheese. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I should give you a little background um, about my philanthropy project. Um, growing up, my grandmother and my great aunt had a tremendous influence on me. I stayed around them quite a bit. I think it would be a great thing if the kids had an opportunity to be around senior, senior citizens or, and go to a community and help them do chores or help them pull weeds in a garden or something like that. The lady at Westminster Thurber called me back and she said, well, you know what, I would really like for you to come and give a presentation on Cinco de Mayo. My grandmother and my uh, great aunts had a big influence in my life. So for Reach for the Stars, the first thing that popped into my mind was doing something with seniors. Sometimes I think with kids, they don't have the sensitivity to older people that we used to have when we were younger. These are people that have lived rich lives, that have so much information that they can give to you. You just have to take the time to sit and listen. Okay, who has trouble doing things for themselves? Rashana. Your, your great grandmother? Okay. All right, Naja. I like to help my nana. Your nana? Maybe we could go to a senior center. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, with Cinco de Mayo coming up, we could possibly go and do a presentation on Cinco de Mayo. Okay. The initial idea was to go and help them do things that they weren't able to do for themselves. And it eventually evolved into this idea of just going and just spending time with them, which is even better. Surprise! She talked about her um, children. I asked my mom, "Can I go back? Go, uh, can I go back?" And she said, um, "She would take me next time." Okay, on the count of three. 
One, one. two. Yeah. Oh, you want me to do it in Spanish? Okay. Uno, Uno. dos, tres. Do you guys know any other words in Spanish? Let's raise Stop. our hands. Let's raise our hands. Who else knows something? Oh, good. What good. is that? What did, what he did said, you? hola, como estas? That means hi. Oh, How are oh, you? Oh, oh, yeah. All right, now it's time to dance. They were so happy and pleased with them, they asked them to come back. So hopefully, you know, maybe next year we'll get a chance to do something similar. Um, they also have a, a pen pal program where the scholars could, you know, pick someone at the, um, the senior center and write to them and they get, you know, write back and forth. So hopefully next year that could be something we could do.